Hello and welcome back to Car Rental University. I'm your host, Alex Witherow. Today I'm gonna to talk about what are five things I wish I had considered and thought about and researched before I got into the car rental business. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. It has lots of great information for new and or more established entrepreneurs. That said, all right, so let's talk about this. Uh, first thing I wish I had known before I got into the car rental business. I got into the, this business about five years ago. Um, initially, I had about, I had one car, then I had three cars, and then I had five cars. Um, so I was kind of buying them at two at a time. And <clears throat> I wish I had the GPS kill switch tracking system on the cars initially. I didn't know about all that. Um, I, I'm not sure if that technology was even available five years ago. I think it was on some level, but um, you know, it's um, Pastime GPS is kind of a new company. I know, uh, I think Get Around probably had the Connect system then, but I didn't know about them. So if I'd done just a little more research about uh, the GPS kill switch on the cars, that would have been so much better and saved me a lot of headaches. Um, so I really wish I had, had known more about that. Number two, I wish I'd researched car prices better. Um, I had a, a guy buy cars for me. I don't think he did the best job at getting like good deals. Uh, I think he just kind of got the car and brought it to me and I signed off on the payment. Um, I wasn't like too nitpicky about the payment on the car because I knew that I was gonna be renting it uh, doing private agreements. And I, I made a lot of money on private agreements for many years. Um, and so, the car was being pretty much paid off after a week of rent every month. Um, and so I had about a 75% uh, profit margin on the cars uh, moving forward. Uh, so that was, you know, it was a pretty good uh, situation. So I wasn't worried about that. However, uh, I, I wish I had kind of done a little more research and gotten uh, better deals. I think I could have definitely have gotten better deals. Number three. Um, I wish I'd known all the options in terms of car share platforms. You know, Get Around, Turo, Hirecard, they've all been around for about eight to 10 years or 12 years. Um, if I'd known about all of those types of situations, uh, I would have, uh, it would have given me more options in terms of how to deal with different cars, different situations. Uh, like I said, you know, my first year or two, I kind of, um, you know, I was dealing mostly with uh, private uh, agreements, but I did move into hire car as well as get around in Turo later on. So, but I think just knowing what your options are and how to cycle through these different platforms is very helpful. Number four, understand what your exit strategy is. Um, you know, with car rentals, it's a little different. Typically, if you buy a car, you can, uh, if you wanna get rid of it, you just sell it. No big deal, because you're not, when you have it for your own personal uses, it's not that big of a deal if you want to sell the car. So you're not putting on a ton of mileage, so you're not really losing much uh, depreciation. With a rental, you are losing more depreciation. That said, um, you know, I think that uh, things have worked out pretty f well for me. They've worked out fine. You know, I, a lot, some of my cars have gotten a good amount of mileage put on them, and then, you know, a couple of them have been totaled over the years and then I got a payout on that. So, you know, that worked out well, that worked out fine. But I think overall, you gotta understand and have a plan. Okay, I'm gonna buy this car, I'm gonna get rid of this car at X you know, point or after one or two or three years. Um, and so you understand what you're doing exactly and have that all mapped out. I think that's really important. And number five, lastly, um, to scale or to not scale. Um, I never really had the desire initially to scale beyond five cars. Um, I had other projects I was working on. Car rentals was not my life, it still isn't. Um, it's something I enjoy doing and I have a, you know, a good business on the side, but I have other projects as well that I work with other entrepreneurs with. Um, so that said, um, but some of you may want to scale and if you're going to scale, you got to have a plan and, and an idea of, of how to do that and what to do. So um, I think that's an important thing to take into consideration uh, should you get into this business. Now, so I've heard of some people buying, you know, 25, 30 cars over the course of uh, a month or two and they just dive right in and um, that can work, but I will say that um, if you are, if you don't know the business, uh, there's going to be a lot of learning curves and a lot of things that are going to surprise you. 
uh, about this business. And you've got to, you know, I always say start slowly so you kind of learn uh, the ropes and then you can start scaling at a more exponential rate. But overall, that's what I would tell you in terms of the five things I wish I had known before I got into this business. Before I go, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. And I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you.